What's going on guys, my name's Theoatrix and today we got a new old school update. This week we got a lot of smaller tweaks and changes, along with a lot of accounts getting banned due to the new third party client rules. So firstly, we had some fairly big changes for Iron Man. Any Iron Man account, whether you're a regular, hardcore or an ultimate Iron Man, you can now speak to the Iron Tutor in Lumbridge to become an unranked group Iron Man. So any Iron Man can do this. The process takes seven days to occur. So if you change your mind after requesting to change, you can revert it. There's also new Iron Man armor available for unranked group irons. And the armor is a green version of the group iron armor armor. This week we also got a few tweaks to the Giants Foundry, the new smithing minigame. Kovac can now send your reward coins straight to the bank, allowing you to continue the minigame a little bit faster. Also Kovac can now tell you how many swords you've made in total. Jagex also made it so that the yellow sweet spots that pop up occur in a more distributed manner. So previously, you'd mostly get the sweet spots in the initial stages of making your sword, but now you'll get them all throughout. We also had a bunch of smaller changes. First, the Apple Pencil now works with the latest iOS client, which includes a lot of useful plugins and overlays. At Driftnet Fishing, there's no longer a confirmation screen when you're harvesting the net, so it's slightly faster. You can now destroy loot keys in the wilderness if it contains less than 30k of loot. Jagex added a warning when you're taking a wacker canoe into the wilderness, so you can't misclick anymore. And lastly, a pride flower from the 2022 pride event has been removed from the Varrock West Bank area because it would interrupt people when training fire making because you couldn't walk over it. In other news, the third party client ban that banned third party clients other than Runelight, HDOS and OS Buddy took full effect this week and many players have caught themselves a two week ban for continuing to use these disallowed clients. Jagex did a great job of killing two birds with one stone by banning these clients. It's made PVM and PVP a lot fairer, disallowing these overpowered plugins and the ban also did a lot for botting and stopping those people. Places like Last Man Standing will be a lot different now, as many players used to use clients to get a very unfair advantage. There does seem to be a little bit more work for Jagex though, because some players found a way to import banned plugins into Runelight without catching a ban, but I'm sure Jagex will work out a way or have already worked out a way to detect this. Anyways guys, it was a fairly small update today, but I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. Some big news, I've finally got a shipping provider to Europe and the UK for my merch store. So now any item can be shipped pretty much globally. If you've been waiting on this, you can use the coupon SHIPPING to get a huge 30% off your order, which is one of the largest discounts I've ever given. Anyways guys, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe for more old school content. Thanks for watching.